I found something I really like here. Hey everybody, Josh RV Nerd here at Vicious RV and lately you've seen me introduce some truck campers to our channel. I hope you're enjoying. They've been, for the most part, other than that mammoth from Host, they've been fairly small. So what if you're looking for something that doesn't require an F450, but you want something that's a little bit more than like a pop top tent style that's where this guy comes in this is uh an adventurer and um i tell you what i am impressed with the build quality of this camper right here so we have um you know laminated walls laminated roof uh, all solid one piece flooring all the uh holding tanks are fully enclosed heated and protected and something that puts this camper in a very exclusive club is they actually do hot cold uh, camp test their RVs uh, so this is something where if it's sitting on the back of your truck and you you know like a travel trailer you can skirt it you can help keep the wind out from under it you don't really have that option on a truck camper so they make sure that everything is really solid really protected um, this thing it is large I mean it's 2600 pounds and change empty it, we're not a half ton uh, truck camp right here frankly you're probably still in very solid dually country uh, truck campers get very heavy very quickly but um, it's it's nice and large it's full-sized the bedroom is a true queen bed and a real closet the kitchen is a full kitchen with an oven um, like it blows my mind how many truck campers are like oh we're we're great for getting off the grid and then they have a microwave and no oven now <laughs> Makes about as much sense as trying to slam a revolving door. <laughs> and you know, these bigger truck campers, I mean, they're big, they're heavy, and they're they're spendy. But you know, uh, not name another type of camper that's going to uh, allow you to like haul a horse trailer or something like that or a boat behind you, you know? Unless you're in a giant fifth wheel, which is going to take a big giant truck anyway. You just can't do that. And then you're like 9,000 feet long. And, and I'll be Frank. I'll be George. I could be brown, I could be blue, I could be violet skies. I don't care. What I'm getting at is, frankly, most truck campers personally don't really trip my trigger. But these bigger ones are a lot more fun. Um, I think because when I get to go camping, I don't get to camp as much as I would personally like, but when I do, I kind of want the nicer conveniences. And I have a huge respect for something that is just built and assembled very nicely, which is what we're looking at here. Now, one of the kind of cool things about these that you really can't see is they have like a full subfloor construction. Um, and what that creates is like an air pocket where they can keep the tanks like enclosed, protected, heated. And like you see, it, 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 I mean, it's not exactly where the floor is, but you see how the dinette floor actually kind of rises right there. It's sort of like that, but another layer of it below the floor that you walk on, you know? All the countertops are a sealed edge press membrane material. And if you look under that speaker on the right-hand side, there's a couple switches. One is for the awning. The other is to keep the tanks heated in case you're camping when it gets really freaking cold. Now, while we're looking at the storage here, I'll mention that it's all pocket screwed. It is lumber core. Um, now, when I say lumber core, what that means is that it is screws into wood. However, on the front of the uh, the cabinetry, there is an MDF fascia, and it does have a sticker wrap. Uh, taking a look at all the little pockets here and there. And then, if you'll excuse me, I've got a cramp going on in my right rib over here, because in order to get you this shot, I literally had to climb up on the counter and kick my shoes off, and it, the, the stove top's digging into my side. Stand by. <laughs> Ah, yeah, yeah, it's it's almost like they didn't expect you to use the kitchen countertop as a bonus sleeper. Who knew? Ah, uh, yeah, so anyway, taking a look up here, like I said, it, I mean, it's compact. We're not like a giant fifth wheel, but there's some, uh, there's some really decent, respectable space in here. And apparently, I knocked that shade a little kitty wampus when I was up there getting you the shot from the other direction, so... That's on me, not on them. Don't knock the camper for that. I just got to go get that straightened out. Excellent drawer space in here, though. And this, that right there, that is something that truck campers usually, they just suck royally at good uh, space. And again, a full oven. Oh, speaking of which, by the way, microwave is, yeah, my, I believe microwave is optional in these. 
as is the uh, roof air conditioner that we're looking at right there. Ooh. I found something I really like here. Soft closed drawers. And look at the construction of these. Look how thick all the plywood is around that. That is nerdism number 37, known as down with the thickness. I am seriously still stretching my neck out. I kinked myself up in there pretty good. Uh, anyway. Oh, I'm, I'm sure the flight home on the airplane will straighten me out nicely. <laughs> uh, gas electric. Uh, fridge freezer over here. That looks to be a six cubic foot variety. Not a surprise that we see the larger Max Air vent fan up here. Um, the bathroom. Full bath. It's an all one piece fiberglass enclosure. So it's a, it's a wet bath. It's what I'm going to call the three S's. You can... Uh, sit, shower, and shave all at the same time. I gotta be very intentional about the way that I say that on camera. That is one of those things. I really don't want the automatically generated captions to hear that wrong, and then I end up uh, getting a call from HR. You know, I joke about getting calls from HR all the time. Funny thing is, Vicious is like a really cool, very laid back group to work with. I like this though. A little protective cover for your roll of toilet paper because if you're in here showering, you don't want to soak up your two ply. And then finally up here, heading uh, to, to the bed space, this is really the only area where I didn't see like near perfect fit and finish. There's just little gaps over there. There's a couple little gaps on the little step to help you crawl up into the, uh, the bed space if you don't have mountain climber long legs like mine. Um, the, uh, skylight up here, you could close that off if you were so inclined. Um, it's actually got like a, a, a double section shade and you know what? Why am I telling you about it? We're in video. Let me show you. Basically like a Euro window. That's pretty much what that is right there. Very similar, uh, arrangement to like what you might see on the embers that we've had on this channel before. Uh, 60 by 80, true queen bed right here. Uh, and the way it's kind of sunken down and recessed in. Because over here, you've got that little side locker storage with the little flip top. You see the black hinges right there. Um, then, this is actually very interesting. You've got, like, a, a nice side stand over here. So, uh, you know, you are there power outlets up in there? Hold on. There are. Okay. So, that could be CPAP friendly, phone charge friendly, something like that. But the other thing that's very interesting up here is it has an actual, like, wardrobe closet. A wardrobe, uh, you know, hanging closet in here. You, But you see how it does sink down a little bit, too. So you could still use it like a little bit of a storage chest. And then you have hanging hooks uh, up top right there. You can see those just peeking into frame. TV hookups, and it's even HDMI wired. It is amazing how many manufacturers still haven't figured that out. Now, another really good indication as to, like, the quality and echelon of product. Like, how willing is a manufacturer to use good quality materials? When you start hearing laminated, investigate what kind of fiberglass is it? Is it conventional phylon, where you can see the little fibers in the fiberglass? Or is it something like this, a Lamalux 4000, if you don't know what that means, high gloss. And uh, it just, it gives it just a glorious reflective look, it looks, just terrific sitting on the truck right there, you know, and the light shining off of it. It shines up real nice. Um, I don't know, it's something I like. And, you know, these are campers that can sometimes be used off the beaten path. Well, uh, sometimes there's things like tree branches that want to rake down the side of this thing like the claws from the Wicked Witch of the West. <laughs> well, you know, uh, you can buff those scratches out of a better grade of fiberglass like this that you can't always do on some of the other stuff. So that's one of the other nice little benefits here. Now, naturally, a big thing like this, it pretty much goes without saying, but I don't want to take it for granted that we've got the, uh, you know, remote control power corner jacks making life simple and easy. And let me get all these little compartments opened up for you. So the wind is not being cooperative today. We're going to have to do this new kids on the block style, step by step. Anyway, um, up here, we've got kind of like a wet bay. You've got your black tank flush, your city water hookup, and an actual outside shower, you know? So you don't necessarily have to uh, fill up your holding tanks when you're inside. Now, as we step back here, once again, a good indication that we're in something larger 
is the space, frankly, for double propane tanks. So this has 40 pounds of propane versus 20, like you find on a lot of truck campers. Then back it up another step here, you can see room for plenty of battery power. Um, you know, you could do a couple 12 volts, a couple six volts. There's uh, lithium capacity here, a lot of different ways that you can go. And we can assist you with pretty much any of those. But we're not quite done with the storage because if you look back here, um, the uh, there's like a little slide out basement tray and I do mean basement because this is actually uh, kind of a cool look at like what is effectively the crawl space of the RV your holding tanks and whatnot that's what we're looking at right there so like I said your tanks are enclosed they are heated they do put heat down here they are protected just little details like that and that that extra wide folding step uh, it's just, it's bigger, it's wider. If you're not paying attention, if you were cooking up a storm on the fire, you know, uh, you wanna make sure that you got something to plant your feet on, well, you, you got a perfect spot for it. Oh yeah, there's another baggage door over there. Hold on. Again, flapping in the breeze a little bit. I wanna clarify something though, because someone is going to tell you, yeah, this RV has a three year warranty. Look at the blue three on the back. This is a three year structural warranty. That's one of those things that I'm really in tune with from just having such an experience in the uh, the towable RV market. And there's nothing wrong with a structural warranty, but it's not like you see three year and you hear warranty, that's not what it is. I just always wanna make sure you know exactly what you're getting. I also love that extends off the back awning right there, uh, especially if it's been raining or if it's drizzly and you're trying to like hop out and check the grill or something like that. You know, you're not getting spritzed in the face. Now, I tell you what, it's not every day a truck camper is built in a way that even provides access to the roof, let alone has a truly fully walkable roof like this. It is laminated, it is solid, there is zero flex to this roof. And what's cool about that is if you are storing it outside and you live in snow country, you want the snow pile up. You don't gotta worry about brushing it off the top of this thing. It ain't going anywhere. And as long as we're up here, give you a little look around, this is prepped and ready for roof solar. Uh, you saw in the kitchen there was that sticker telling you where the charge controller wiring would be located. In my experience, now I don't know exactly how this company does their stuff in this regard, but in my experience, most of the time when you hear solar prepped from a manufacturer, it means that there's a wire running from that plug to the location of the charge controller. If you want us to add a solar package, which we totally can, uh, we usually still need to add some extra wiring down to the batteries. They might have done the whole shebang, but not usually. Um, the uh, big vent fan there in the uh, kitchen living area, you see how it's got those little clips that stick up? If you wanna add one of those handy little uh, vent covers to give you some anytime rainy day airflow, she's all prepped and ready for that, and you don't have to screw anything into the um, uh, roof construction, you know? How you doing, guys? My, my, my dad just says I'm up here getting high on trailers. <laughs> she, she likes it that's good because that's a joke that either lands or really doesn't <laughs> um air conditioner this is optional but notice how they're using a low pro air conditioner so it's not really increasing the exterior height too awful much and um when it's on the back of the rv like this all the other stuff on the rv kind of helps brush tree branches out of the way so the odds of you really uh catching a tree branch on that and popping it off like a Lego brick, pretty darn low. One thing I will tell you, I really wish they would put like a handle or two up top so when you're climbing up and down that ladder, you have something to grab a hold of because otherwise you're belly crawling and it's, it's frankly kind of spooky. Actually, you know what it's sort of like? Anybody who's ever um, been like on a pontoon having a little just cruising day on the water, you're in water you're a little unfamiliar with. You don't know if you can just jump off the side. So you're kind of on your belly and you're just slowly dropping your legs down in the water. And like, you're not feeling anything. It's kind of intimidating. You're sort of like, I feel like I'm falling in a black hole. And then a little piece of seaweed brushes your foot and you're like, you're like, you're like there's something gonna get me. Now a final thought to leave you with here. Uh, if you notice in the background, we've got quite the selection of truck campers at this facility. I'm at our Salt Lake facility here. They are the second largest uh, volume dealer of truck campers in the nation. 
So these are some people, some very specialized training on a very specialized product. They know the questions to ask to make sure you're getting matched up with the right truck, and they will make sure we put your safety before the sale. If you'd like to see uh, if we have any of these in stock and what we're asking, check that link in the video description, because uh, unfortunately that's the only reference point I have. I don't have like a, a master pricing list available to me. I have the same things you folks have. Sounds weird, but that's how it is. Anyway, uh, so you're one click away, and you can always give us a call. We could custom one out. You want the air conditioner, you want uh, like however you want it, you want it built different, We'll get a build different for you. Give us a call. We do it all. Take care. Stay safe. Have fun. And best wishes from Bishes, everyone. Hope you're having a good time.